hey everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel once again to my returning subscribers i say you are highly welcome in case you are new here you are seeing this channel for the first time this is a concept you are most welcome i want to use this medium to appreciate you guys for your love toward this channel thank you for watching my videos thank you for your comment thank you for your kind words thank you so much i love you all in today's tutorial we shall be making this a structure flounce on a long sleeve it is going to be an interesting one like i always say if you want to see how it started and how it ended don't drag the line just relax as we move on to the working table more so if you haven't watched the video where i make this collar okay i will drop the link in the description box below click on it and it will take you there right away thank you in today's tutorial i shall be working with the following items this is my crinoline the height of this screen line is about one and a quarter this is it this will be for the flounce and this will be for the sleeve the next thing to do now is to cut out the long sleeve in that case i'll be placing my fabric into two equal parts the length of my sleeve for this tutorial is 22 inches that is from the cap of the shoulder or from the shoulder line to the wrist plus half an inch to hem it making 22 and a half inches i had it half an inch to here because this is just for illustration and it's going to be one on mannequin okay so if you are making yours endeavor to add one inch okay i'll go ahead and measure out 22 and a half inches this is it from where i marked the 22 inches i will go down by three inches for the cap of the sleeve and the cap of the sleeve for this tutorial is three inches plus half an inch to join it to the bodies making three and a half so from this line i'll go down by three and a half inches this is it now so on this line where i have the three and a half inches i'll place the half of my ham or circumference my ham or circumference for this tutorial is 14 inches 14 divided by 2 that will be 7 inches so from this folded edge i'll go in by 7 inches plus half an inch for allowance making seven and a half inches so this seven inches i will divide it by two that will be three and a half inches this is it then from there, I'll go up by 2 inches. The next thing is to curve this shoulder line. Curve it towards these 2 inches I went up with. Then take it down to where I have 7 and a half inches like this. Then for the wrist, the circumference of the wrist is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2, that will be 4 inches, plus half an inch allowance, making 4 and a half. From this folded edge, I'll go in by 4 and a half. This is it. I'll go ahead and connect this part where I have my 7 and a half and connect it to the wrist. So that is all about the sleeve now. I will set it aside and cut out the flounce. Right. To cut out the flounce now, I will be measuring the point where the flounce will be coming in to the wrist of the sleeve. In that case, I will be taking you guys along with me to my mannequin to show you how I will be doing that. I okay. will place my tape measure like this. Adjacent to the shoulder line, about 5 inches from the shoulder line, I'll place the measuring tape across the shoulder like this and take it to the wrist. Altogether here, I have 28 inches. And the sleeve length of our client from the shoulder line is 22 inches. After measuring it, I have 28 inches. 28 inches divided by the formula for full circumference which is 6.28 and this will be equal to 4.45 okay this is it 
in that case i'll be measuring 4.5 okay that is four and a half to do that i will take my fabric i'll fold it into two equal parts and fold it into four again after folding it from this pointed edge i'll go in by four and a half inches this will be for the radius so for the height of the flounce i will make it five inches including allowance half an inch to join it together and half an inch to hem the upper part together making one inch so all together now i have five inches i will take it round after measuring this what i have now i'll go ahead and cut off this part then cut out the circumference i've cut out the sleeve this is it and this is the flounce i have two pieces one will be for the main fabric and the second one will be for lining the next thing is to spread it out and attach my crinoline and to do that i'll place it half an inch away to the edge in case you are using pattern fabric you place it on the wrong side of your fabric okay i'll pin it round until i cover the whole circumference after pinning it this is what i have now i'll go ahead and run my stitch on the crinoline i will run it close to the edge round the circumference okay so i'll go and do that right away after attaching it i will take the main fabric and place it right side facing each other like this after placing both together right side facing each other i will take it to my sewing machine now and run my stitch on it just immediately after the crinoline below the crinoline that's where i will run my stitch i will take it round until i cover the whole circumference after attaching it this how it's looking now you see that wavy effect coming out so the next thing now is to shape out the flowers and to do that i will turn it inside out again when turning it out remember to place the crinoline on the lining side okay this is the right side this is the line so i haven't done that i will fold it into two equal parts like this to shape it i will take it from this edge and rhyme it to the radius okay i'll cut it out I will take it to my sewing machine and run my stitch. You can run it about one quarter or half an inch. Then I will take it. When I get to the other edge, I will leave about two inches away. That two inches will be for turning it inside out. Okay? Go ahead and turn it inside out now. Not this part. Use your scissors to poke out the edges. The next thing is to stitch up this part, then give it a good press again and attach it. The next thing now is to attach the flounce to the bodies. And to do that, I'll be using this, my blouse here for demonstration, okay? Because this is not the blouse or this is not the dress I'll be attaching it to. Okay? So I will use this to demonstrate, then later transfer it to the mannequin to show you the finished look and to do this the first thing is to take the sleeve fold it into two equal parts like this give it a good press to form creeps in the middle this is what i mean okay this will guide to place the flounce properly i'll set it aside then take my bodies spread it out like this from the picture 
the flounce is on the left hand side of the sleeve exactly what i did when i measured the mannequin so exactly what i'll be repeating here again so i will measure down from the shoulder line i will measure in five inches this is it you slant it not straight see towards the neckline exactly here it goes like this having done that I will place the bodice like this take my sleeve place it right side facing each other center to center on the shoulder line I will take it to my symmetry run my stitch half an inch round then after that I will turn it to the right side like this I'll take my flounce place it exactly on the five inches i measured then place my first pleats i'll place the second one about one inch to one and a half inch over then take it towards the shoulder line then through the creeps i form on the sleeve i'll take it down on this side you may decide to form more pleats as you move on or you may decide to leave it okay but me i like forming the pleats because that will give it that spara effect on this last part you just leave it like this leave about two inches away to the wrist then stitch it down after stitching it if you don't want it to look plain like this you can attach your trimmings okay this is what i mean if you have something like this okay matching color you place it just to cover the stitch up if you don't want it revealing you stitch it down okay just place it on the stitch and stitch run your stitch on it so this will serve as a cover up okay the next thing is to stitch up the sleeve and to do that i'll fold it like this then run my half an inch on it take it to the side seam of the blouse and stitch it down as well so this is how it's going to look is it exactly what i'll be doing on my mannequin now i'll go and do that then show you the finish look This brings us to the end of today's tutorial guys thank you for watching to the end i would love to hear from you in the comment section below if you have found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up like it share it let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you haven't joined this wonderful family kindly click on the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell in case i upload a new video you will get notified thank you i love you all Bye.